Welcome back to another episode of Enigmatica 6 Expert, where today I'm going to upgrade my backpack. We're going to do some other stuff, but I just put together all the upgrades uh, we're going to need, all the components. Oh, um, and uh, we've got the jukebox thing in there. I took everything out of it just in case. We've got protective fabric, which is just rubber and string, which we've got a bit of rubber going now, and rose gold, which actually was easily made in our induction smelter. And I think we can even get the tier above this one as well. So now our backpack is a gold backpack, and that's pretty nice. And then we can upgrade this guy. Oh, Enderium. Enderium. Ender dust, lead, diamond dust. We can just hammer that. Actually, we probably could make this. Yeah, okay, that actually won't be too bad. Um... And marine fabric was just a little bit of prismarine. Actually, a little bit short on prismarine, actually. Um, but we can't find that out on the beach. That's going to be night time. That might not be might not be a bad idea. Um, oh, there is a sea temple, ocean monument, uh, over in that direction, and we could also go there. I think I've probably harvested most of the seashells along this beach uh, getting not less but uh, I'm done that for a while because we've definitely got uh, two maybe three stacks of nautilus shells from the uh, the drown spawner in the mob farm so we're fine in that department I've cleared out all of this all right but we grab that we just need to make this reinforced alloy. Oh wait, that needs lithium. Oh. Oh, never mind. Alright, we're not making that. We're not making that. Uh, I don't have lithium. Cool. Clean inventory and we still have four rows of stuff on the backpack. So yes, uh, a little bit a little bit ahead of myself there. I'm, I'm just going to take these things off the, the stuff we're making list because I don't even think I'm getting to them today. So last episode we built ourselves this liquid compressor. And we got ourselves some refined fuel. Now this should be still processing in the very inefficient way that it was. Uh, why are you not... Oh, you need to input from this side and process that light oil. We've got almost three buckets of refined fuel back there. Oh, and they've gone into both of these containers. Shouldn't be too bad. There we go, we've got almost five buckets of refined fuel. I see induction smelter. Uh, why are you not? Ah, uh, because light oil makes a different byproduct. Okay, so we probably do want a couple of fractioning stills, I think. Like one for processing the crude oil, and then one each for each of these byproducts, unless we get into tree oil, which we might, because that sounds like it should be renewable. And hey, we get sulfur, which goes in here, and uh, when this guy eventually makes some more latex stuff, we get more rubber. Nice. So if we look at our quests, um, we're getting down into the pressure chamber, um, which looks like something we definitely want to do. Um, we've got the refinery over here. So oil deposits scatter the landscape, representing a significant potential fuel source if refined, though even its byproducts may prove to be even more valuable. So we probably need this for getting into plastic, and plastic did make a lot of stuff easier. And Amadron. I'm sure. Oh, we can get all sorts of things. Hey, that's not bad. Interesting. Huh, so we can like get ores. From this, we can trade oil for emeralds. Can we trade emeralds for oil? We can. That'd be handy because, you know, you can trade like potatoes and stuff to a to a trader, and we could, you know, do the zombie cure thing to bring his prices right down to where it's. I don't know how low they'll get, but maybe even like one potato for one emerald. I don't know if it goes that low. And then we'll have pretty much infinite emeralds, um, which we could use to get uh, more oil. Do we start with the refinery or the pressure chamber? Let's go for the refinery. So we want one of these guys and four of these things. 
uh, steel and buckets, that's simple. A small fluid tank, that's simple. We've already made some stuff like that. So refinery output's pretty easy. Refinery controller. It's mostly going to be these superheating elements. So electrum coil blocks. Not bad. We've got electrum and we could... I have to get some uh, rest of engineering villagers. That won't be bad. A heat pipe. That is a lot of compressed iron. That is a lot of compressed iron. You can trade for compressed iron? Mate. That's pretty good. We turn steel, tar, and obsidian into compressed iron in a pressure chamber. This, this is looking pretty good, actually. I might try and get myself a villager to trade for uh, compressed iron, because that would be nicer than, than making it at this stage. Uh, so after doing a little bit of googling, after not having any luck in the villager in the villages, rather. Um, so we have professions, and actually maybe this is how we can find them. So we need a charging station for Pneumatocraft, and that'll get us a mechanic. Um, and these aren't too bad to make. Uh, pressure tubes, I think we've already gotten some just out of the chests in these village houses. And bricks. Reinforced stone slabs. Now... Here we go, so if you look up the usage of emerald, we can see what every, uh, I assume what every profession there is, and the block they use. So we can get a computer scientist, interesting, I wonder what he trades. The mechanic is the one we're after. A, cer a ceramist. A carpenter. Engineer, uh-huh, a machinist. Okay, cool, that's handy to know, actually, I might just... Bookmark the emerald, just so I, I know how I can find it. So let's uh let's let's go make one of these and try and get ourselves some uh some cheap compressed iron trades. And it turns out we had all of the materials back at the base. Cool. So I'm pretty sure um this guy you'd have to like hook up with a pipe, actually probably uh one of these pipes. And then we'd put refined fuel on him, he'd fill up with air pressure, and then we could charge like the wrench and stuff on there. But what I really want is another villager, and um... He does disappear. He's kinda, he's kinda gonna wanna go there, and it's gonna get... It's gonna get very noisy. Is it like a muffler? Hmm. There's probably... Oh, muffler. Aha! Wait, how do we find... Recent. What did that do it? Oh, that is so much better. Oh, that is way better. I should have done that a long time ago. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's uh, whip up another area for villagers. And that was pretty quick. It also sells a PCB blueprint. Huh? Which makes a UV light box. I mean, I'm huh? picking. Oh, we can only trade or buy it. Sweet. Um, I want to lock in his trade. I didn't. I didn't bring any emeralds. I didn't bring any emeralds. Yeah, if we lock in his trade now. Uh -huh. Nice. That is so cheap. And then you trade logistics cores and transistors. That's pretty cool. Um, you're, you're coming with me. Yeah, if we lock in this trade now, I've found when teleporting villagers, or like taking them back to back to the base, they seem to want to like, it's almost like they're trying to come back here and they won't pick up workstations nearby. So actually setting his workstation and locking in his trade uh, while we're in the village. Out of experience. Um, while we're in the village, should save us uh, from having to deal with that. And then, hey, we can buy logistics cores. I mean, not that they were, they, they're not expensive. Transistors, that lets us get transistors without having to make all of these things, so... That could be handy. It is a component for printed circuit boards. But you can also trade for them sometimes, so... We might get lucky there. Let's just get some compressed iron. <laughs> nice. Yeah, he's a good villager. He is a he is a good villager. 
So, uh, been assembling these components and we've struck a problem. We need kiln bricks, which require a smoldering lapis lazul compound, which needs a blast furnace. And, and all of the stuff. Ectoplasm, eh? It's not too bad. Oh, more tar. We are getting a bit of tar, I think. I started processing some more oil. This doesn't get us tar. It's processing one of these does. Refined fuel, refined fuel. Why do you have refined fuel? There we go, heavy oil. Yeah, we uh, desperately need to not do that. Yeah, we'll leave this guy processing, but yeah, we need to set this up uh, in a better way. Oh, plenty of rubber. Yes, so we need to get kiln bricks first. So really, like this does require this whole thing. So I guess the first thing we actually are making are blast bricks. It's paper, red nether bricks. They're just nether bricks here, nether water. Actually, not knowing I needed them, smelted up a whole bunch of nether bricks earlier. Uh, coke bricks. We actually have a bunch of these sitting around. And blast bricks. Blast bricks. Brick blends. Just need coal coke dust. Marl. Blaze powder. Marl. Strange sand and clay. Okay. Okay, so we have to go to the atom and find some of that strange sand. And then we can mix up the stuff to get the blast bricks. I guess we just make a whole heap of them. Because uh, you never know when you need more. And I think I've still got construction paste left over. And we have to do this four times. Okay, cool. So that'll be easy. Coke bricks. Yeah, I'm certain. We have 523 coke bricks. So I just need to get myself some marl and maybe some more blaze powder. I think coal coke we're fine with as well. What did I use it all for something? We got some in here. We got some in here. And I needed some gunpowder, so chucked a nether star. Which means I don't need to be nearby. Nether star, sugar, and fermented spider eyes. I kind of wrecked this actually. Nice, so that should spawn a whole bunch of creepers. Just flogged that from our blood magic setup. Ah, just because I needed gunpowder for, for making all of these blast bricks. Uh, we can craft gunpowder. And it wouldn't have been too bad, but I mean. We can also get gunpowder this way. Fuel, that should be enough. Um, cleared out. Well, actually, I thought I cleared out <laughs> these things. Uh, yeah, so since I set up that drown spawner, we have five stacks of Nautilus shells. That's, that's pretty good. Now, apparently you can also set up an auto fishing barge. Um, which sounds cool, and I think it also gets you fishing treasure as well, which could be quite nice. Uh, but that worked. Okay, so paper. Um, and I've got to do this in the right order. It's paper, red nether brick, coke brick, blast brick. Red nether brick, coke brick, blast brick, construction paste. So... Red nether brick, coke brick... Blast brick. Construction paste. And we're going to do this four times. So I haven't actually made enough. Let's, uh... Let's just do a couple and then we'll, we'll see what resources we've got left. Because I just realised, yeah, if I put in all 64, I'm going to use all of those materials. And these will all only be... Partial blast bricks. Whereas if I do this, this is the second time, and then they still need to go through two more times. Yeah, we would have ran out of stuff. And this will be the last round through for these guys. So we need, I think it's 27, um, and I guess this is going to live. I mean, I guess there is not a not a bad place to put it. I mean, it's not a great place to put it either. Yeah, I guess in the wall. In the wall. 
will be okay. And at some stage we will be moving the base um, to another location. I'm just not sure when um, or where. So hey, that's almost the, the right amount. That's got us that quest. Cool. And we've got those blast bricks left, which we do use for some stuff, so... Like a pyrolyzer can make coal and a coal coke. And gets us bonus tar. That's kind of nifty, actually. And turns log and onto charcoal. But makes creosote oil. So we got ourselves this. Um, we need to then create some smoldering lapis lazuli. Um, ectoplasm comes from wraiths. I believe I have a wraith spawner. I believe in our chests of spawners. We've got a wraith spawner. I think these guys fly, so it might not work too good in our mob farm, but we can we can just set it up in an area and, and fight some wraiths. And actually, it might be a good idea to do the same with a blaze spawner. Like, I've got two nether stars. Compare it to make them redstone controlled. That'll be not bad. Yeah, so maybe we'll do that. Uh, tar, ectoplasm, that's easy. Nether quartz is fine, and lapis lazuli dust is fine. Oh, actually, hang on. We need to make... Of course, okay, which is the exact same stuff. Right, just in the mixer, and we heat it. Cool, let's craft a bunch of this. Gets us some slag, which we can make rock wool out of. And it's used for upgrade matrixes, and of course, kiln bricks, which, hey, we need blast bricks for. Uh, which we still have 24 of. Nice. Cool. Yeah, and uh, Wraith Spotter doesn't really work in uh, <laughs> what we got set up here. Ah, uh, but I mean, at least we've we got the spawner now. We, we can set something else up for this. And there we go. Where'd you stop? I was just missing. Missing some of the stuff. So this should get us a whole bunch of this coarse lapis lazuli compound. Which we need to definitely chuck into this guy straight away. Uh, does that... Oh, this needs uh, cold coke, doesn't it? And with a bit more uh, smelling up some cold coke because I ran out, uh, we have smoldering lapis lazuli compound. And then that we can use to make these kiln bricks, and that's going to get us that kiln furnace. So these are two by two, so we only need two to use two of these. Do we use this for anything else? Not really. Do we use kiln bricks for other things? We do. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, and then mud bricks. And then we actually need another one. This has a fifth. Cool. And this will set us up for any uh, future recipes now that require five stages of processing. So now we check in. I guess uh, we needed two lots of this, right? Yeah, so just two. Nice. Because each of these becomes four uh, once we get to that last step. Sweet, there's our eight kiln bricks. I prepared an area earlier. I think this will fit just nicely. Oh, mate. And then... Pow! An alloy kiln. And can we see what this is... Uh, we can't really see what the alloy kiln itself is used for. And actually, I think the main reason we were even making that... A crafting component. Ooh. See, so yeah, we need to make this engineer's blueprint, which we need the thermopneumatic processing plant to get an upgrade matrix. Yeah, so I guess we need to make this guy first, so we can make this blueprint. All right, let's let's whip up one of these guys. 
think I've probably got some of the stuff for this. And actually, for making a lot of these reinforced stone things, we need compressed iron, so... Uh, luckily... This guy exists. <laughs> we might have to figure out other ways to increase our emerald uh, production. So we need to... melt this. And then we're going to be slowly making stone this way. This is actually going to take a little while. I take that back, that's pretty fast. Alright, what if we like, put this in our offhand? Um, okay, now what if we did this? Oh no, I just accidentally cast out a... right, alright. So we have to be a little bit careful with the order that we... ah, oh, I did it again. <laughs> and just a couple of small fluid tanks. I think that's probably got us. Everything we need for this thermoneumatic processing plant. Awesome. It fries, it crystallizes, it infuses. Just maybe consider washing it out for us between uses. Yes. So if we put this here. Um, if we wanted to make this, we need water. Smoldering lapis lazul compound and we'll get four upgrade matrixes. Okay, so water and it's one bucket for four. Okay, let's just do one. So that goes in there. Then we need to, I guess we put a bucket of fuel in this. That's running. I would have thought it would be noisy. Now I think there are like upgrades, oh the, so, so the security upgrade adds a built-in safety valve to the machine. Automatically releasing some air, cool. So we need a high signal, we want to control this guy with a lever. Um, if we don't I think he'll just keep running and then he'll build up too much pressure And then he would, since he's got the security upgrade, he'll just spurt the excess pressure out. Um, sweet, that's going to work. Uh, but if you didn't have the security upgrade, I think it like blows up pipes and then you get air hissing out. So that's neat. This is going to get here, and then we need a book. Nice. I just accidentally put more water in there. Let's... <laughs> Do that. We got our four matrix upgrades. I mean, I guess. I guess we do a couple. Let's do like three or two in total. Maybe another one. It's actually pretty fast once he gets going. Um, that should be cool. Nice. Then we finally get to use our new aloe kiln, although I say finally, but we, we only just got it moments ago. And then I think you can run on any fuel. Doesn't need to be coal coke. And sweet! That's going to get us this engineer's blueprint, which is probably handy for some things. Nice. Engineer's blueprint. Yeah, <laughs> Haunted? Surely not. Though the bricks are infused with a rather peculiar... Ah, so Though the bricks are infused with rather peculiar materials. And that voice you hear near the kiln does seem rather insistent. I think it's because we use like ectoplasm in uh, making these kiln bricks. I wonder if that's uh, foreshadowing that we're diving back into some magic to get... What on earth was that? Oh, that was this guy. Releasing air pressure because he was full. And then luckily we put the switch on him so we can turn him off. That was really loud, considering it makes no noise the rest of the time. <laughs> Alright, aloe kiln, blast furnace, and we even used our pneumatocraft thing, which is... Which is it? It's, it's over there, behind, behind some stuff. <laughs> but hey, it's been Classic Duff. Thanks for watching. We'll come back next time, and uh, we're diving into probably some more pneumatocraft. Looking forward to it. <laughs>